All right, guys, getting ready for crude oil. Good morning again, everybody, for just joining us. Don't forget, it's the FOMC statement day, and sometimes it's really good to trade after the statement, just like you would with a crude oil report. You wait a little while and then try to get your power of quitting. Prices can really move nicely, well, especially if there are surprises. All right, so here we go, 20 seconds to go. So there is a get in sync short at 58.59, but uh, now we got a long trade at 58.68. A little tricky. Both are valid. That's right below the high of the day, by the way, 68 there. Order filled. All right, so definitely long. Let's see if we can get another leg higher after that initial reaction. So targeting 85. And 92, so we can get to target one. And the stop, of course, at 49. Trying to get through that 75 cent level. As we know, that's always a, a tough one. Let's see if it could do it. We really don't want to see a stop and reversal, but we may. Yeah, bummer. 64. And it did hit 64. The question is, did you get your stop move fast enough? And I didn't, so I'm still long. I'm going to push it now to 63 because. Let's see if I could stay in this long trade now that I didn't get short. Still trying to get through 75. Hopefully you guys are still long because that short happened so fast. It, it looks like it wants to break through. Let's see if it can. So it did break through. I don't know where you guys are at. I am fortunate enough to still be long. The stop should be at 69. And hopefully it stays long. Actually 73 now. If you're in it, it's nice when it happens. The trade uh, sometimes those setups are so fast, and it saves you. That's what it did to me this time. A nice target two winner would sure be what the doctor ordered here. But you could see fighting for every penny, missing full target by three cents so far. And the good news is we're at risk free now. Seventy five cents hopefully becomes support. You can see that quarter century number, always a roadblock, but this can go either way at this point. I'm pushing my stop up to 74 now, just based on the bar closing above the signal line. Don't want to get out at 74, but I will. I have to. Order filled. So stopping out, unfortunately, there's a short now. At 73, if you didn't get in, you can get it at 72. That one's targeting 60, 61. It's a small setup. Well, yeah, small setup. Maybe the inability to get higher pushes us down. Order filled. So it did get short. So targeting 61. Stop is up there at 86. That's too bad we couldn't get to full target on that last trade. Yeah, pretty crappy. Price action now. Let's see if we can push lower. So since that last trade was a winner, you might want to make this one trade this one a little tighter just to make sure that this is the last trade and you can get the power of quitting. Let me push through that 50 moving average. All right, so making a nice push. Still got a ways to go. All right, there it is. So getting to the full Order target. Field. Make sure you're filled. Make sure your risk is eliminated. Get a stop moving down to 68. This will be power of quitting. Now moving down to 66. I decided to try to trail this just in case it capitulated. Let's see. Hopefully that will happen. Either way, a winning session in the bag here. A little tricky, but totally doable. I see the nice winner there on Spotlight as well. I realized that long trade had to flip to short. It would really be nice to punch through that 200 moving average for another leg lower. Stop should be at 66 just in case. We could push lower. Be nice to see a strong bar to the downside. We can get our stops down to 61. Got to close below the line first. So the close above the line is not a good sign, but you never know. You can see that 200 moving average, a little bit of magnetism there, exerting some influence. There it is, pushing through. All right, you can push that stop down to 61. See if we can get lower. Stop should be at 66 for Spotlight. 61, 
for counterpunch, the difference between a 377 tick and the 5 tick momentum bar. Still can't get through the 200, but it's trying. 50 moving average diving down good, so hopefully that's an indication of some lower momentum here. Let's see if we can get down to the 50 cent number. All right, 51 cents, and that 50 cent number will throw a roadblock up there too. Can't really move the stop. Try to stay in for a bigger move. Stop has moved down to 62 on Spotlight. And you can see the 200 moving average just always asserts itself, but perhaps now supports becoming resistance, at least on the 377. Might be in trouble here. Order filled. Oh, that's over for, for me. So out at 61, out at 62 on Spotlight. Counterpunch trader with power of quitting, partial winner, and a full winner.